So if you are new to aquariums or maybe you've been seeing like watching YouTube videos like this one and you've seen like really cool tanks like this, you might want to set up your first tank or maybe your child or someone is asking you, mom, dad, I wanna get an aquarium for my birthday or Christmas or whatever it is. And you might wanna know how to, how to start and what to buy. So today we're gonna to do a little bit of shopping. We're currently at Aquarium Depot in uh, Citrus Heights, California, and they were kind enough to let us come in and do a little bit of filming. So we're gonna go around and kind of do a little virtual shop to see what we might need to set up our first aquarium. So first off is we need a fish tank. So let's go this way. All right, so when it comes to aquariums, you wanna think about what fish tank size you want. Now, you can get something like a very small five or 10 gallon. My recommendation is get a little bit larger of aquarium. It's gonna be a lot easier. It's gonna help balance things out. If there is any kind of issue with the water, it's not gonna fluctuate as much when you have more water volume. So I would recommend probably something like a 20 gallon as a nice starter. Um, so here we have an Aquion 20 gallon uh, high, and you can find these at pretty much every aquarium store is gonna have something like this. This one's about 50 bucks. So it'll be there or right around there, depending on where you go, if they have sales, that kind of thing. So starting off, we'll need an aquarium. So let's start off with a 20 gallon. So now we gotta think about everything that we're gonna get has to fit in that tank. And uh, that's not gonna be a problem. Now, first off, the first thing that we wanna think about is we wanna think about filtration because our aquarium needs to have some type of filter to keep all the inhabitants healthy and happy in there. So I like to use air driven filters. They're a lot more economical. It's very easy to maintain. It's very user friendly, especially for newer fish keepers. So you might see, you know, canister filters and hang on the back filters, and those all have good applications. But I wanna start off with something that's air driven. So first off, we're gonna need an air pump. So you can get something like this. This is an inexpensive air pump for about $12. We're gonna need some airline tubing and we're also gonna need a sponge filter. Now a sponge filter is a filter that's driven by air and this is an aquarium co-op sponge filter. This store happens to carry aquarium co-op products and this would be the perfect size here for a 20 gallon aquarium. So very simple to set this up. It's, there's no moving parts. You just connect your airline tubing, connect that, that air pump and you're good to go. The good thing about these is when you're using a sponge filter, you wanna have beneficial bacteria, and that's a whole other video, but the store here actually will give you a, an older sponge filter that has beneficial bacteria all, already. So you buy this, you exchange it, you get the old one, it's gonna have all that good gunk on there. But sponge, sponge filter is what we're gonna want. And uh, next thing we need to do is we need a heater because the fish that we're gonna keep uh, do require a little bit of heat. So here we have the Aquarium Co-op 50 watt heater and uh, this one's uh, $28.99, so that kind of fits into our budget. So now we've got, uh, we've got the tank, we've got the filtration figured out, we have the heater figured out. We're gonna need to put stuff in there. So we need to have some substrate, which is rock or sand. Now, depending on what kind of fish you're keeping and what kind of tank you're keeping and what kind of water you have where you live, there are lots of options, but I'm gonna go with just a regular gravel and they come in different colors depending on what you're looking for, whites and browns and grays and even like purples if that's your thing, not my thing. But you know, just something like a basic, basic uh, black aquarium gravel will look good. The other good thing about a dark gravel like that is it hides the nasty stuff like the fish poop. Now, we want to have live plants. Live plants are going to help with getting your tank established. It's going to give your fish kind of places to hide. It's going to help with the water quality. And it's really nice to look at. So I would recommend starting off with some easy aquarium plants. Um, here we got some Amazon swords. So I would say maybe let's, let's put a couple of Amazon swords in there. You could do like an Amazon sword and some Java fern. And uh, that's kind of a good starter to kind of get things rolling in your aquarium. They're pretty hardy. They don't have a lot of melting, which is what happens when you have new plants that go into an aquarium. Sometimes they'll kind of die off and you think they're dead. They're just kind of starting all over. But uh, Amazon swords do a pretty good job of not melting very much. Before I go on, do me a big favor, hit that like button. It really does help my channel and it helps the algorithm. And if you don't mind, please do consider subscribing to my channel. I would very much appreciate it. So we've got the heater, we've got the filter, we've got the tank, we've got the substrate. We have live plants. Now we need fish. Now there's a lot of fish to choose from and there's 
hundreds and hundreds here with dozens and dozens of tanks. But for this purpose, I'm gonna choose something that's a little bit easier to start off, especially if this is for like a kid, your, your daughter, your son, whatever. You wanna give them something that's gonna do something. So I like to do live bears because they will make more babies. So live bears give birth to live young. They don't lay eggs or anything like that. So it's very easy to get more fish and that's very exciting for a newer fish keeper. So here we have some male fancy guppies. Now people sometimes think that guppies are a beginner fish, but they are actually kind of the, the whole different niche and there are some very, very sought after guppies and some very expensive guppies and they're very colorful and they are live bears. So for this situation, maybe we'll do a trio to start off with. We'll get one male and we'll get a couple of females. So that's gonna be all of like 10 to $12 just for a trio of guppies, kind of some starter guppies. And uh, they're gonna start off your tank and then next thing you know, you're gonna have 20 or 30 guppies down the road. So um, other than that, I think, uh, I think we're all set. We just need some dechlorinator and some fish food. So we'll go up to the front and uh, check those out. All right, so we're gonna need some fish food and uh, here we've got uh, a very simple food. This is a fancy guppy food from Hikari. Hikari is a very good brand. I've used it many times before. I use a different food now, but uh, again, it's a good fish food to get started with and it's a good pack size because when you get a smaller pack size, you don't have to worry about um, food going bad or anything like that. So it's kind of a good starter fish food. And then lastly, we're gonna need some dechlorinator and we're gonna check out my favorite dechlorinator, which is, uh, Fritz Complete, and this is what I use in my fish room, and I've got, I don't know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of fish and dozens of tanks, and this is what I use. And uh, again, this is a very small, kind of a starter kit. This is $5, and this will treat up to 600 gallons. So this will get you started for the first couple of months of having your new 20 gallon tank. And uh, basically, you just wanna follow the steps of setting up the tank properly, making sure that you let the tank cycle if you're not getting beneficial bacteria from the store and setting it up, watching videos like this and learning how to set up your aquarium and just enjoy the hobby. All right, so hopefully that helped you if you're new to fish keeping, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you're new to fish keeping or someone in your life is new to fish keeping. So hopefully this give you, gives you some idea on kind of what to look for, what to shop for, just to kind of get started. Now, if you do wanna learn more about beginner stuff and setting up an aquarium and maybe some tips and tricks that I've uh, taught along the way, then click this link right here.